Hello, welcome to Red Swede. Uh, today it's time to uh, do some bad weather cooking. So it's time to rack up the storm cooker, the tranga, and get going. Come along. Well, hi there, and welcome to Red Sweet Outdoor. Uh, it's early February, and uh, the snow we had for a couple of days ago is melted away. And uh, instead, uh, Malik has left us, and uh, one of his squabbling siblings have made their entrance. So it's uh, pretty good winds today. I tried to find some leeway, and uh, I have a dead cat on my microphone, but I guess that. In some way there uh, will be wind noise on the video and I apologize for that right now. So I originally had other plans for uh, today's cooking but uh, since uh, the wind is picking up uh, I changed my plans. Uh, it's the storm cooker, the trangia that goes today uh, according to weather. And uh, I'm going to make myself some lunch uh, and we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but I hope uh, it doesn't get too much rain. I, I have rain gear, but as you know, uh, my camera doesn't play nice with rain weather, so I hope it stays relatively dry. So let's start unpacking the gear. Well, let's see if I can if I can talk to you here in this storm. If not, I have to do a voiceover afterwards. Maybe we'll see how it works out. Well, since the weather is what it is, uh, it was a no-brainer what kind of kitchen I would use today. Uh, I have more lightweight and such but uh, still I haven't faced the weather where I couldn't cook on my storm cooker come rain or shine. So uh, I take the safe route today and uh, I'm going to do some uh, mix up of things I'm going to have some minced meat, some vegetables, some quinoa, and uh, I'm going to enjoy that, I can tell you. So let's set things up. So let the old burner. And since I'm going to do a lot of cooking there, I will pour it almost full. Uh, because of course I'm going to end up with coffee. But you already knew that. So let's see if I have enough shelter from the wind to light the match. Do the old trick with two at once. And yes, it's coming along. So, while this is preparing to bloom, I bring out a small pot and I have approximately half a deciliter of quinoa. I think you can see it there. Tricolor. Gives a nice mix. And according to instructions, you're supposed to boil the water first, but uh, uh, I'm not much for such details. Let's see. A splash mirror. Like that. And it's supposed to simmer for a bit over 10 minutes. Uh, it will simmer while I prepare the rest. So, 
time to chop some vegetables. And I mostly like my onions with large chunks, so that's what I'm going for. And I'm going to use half a tomato inside this stew, or in lack of a better word. So let's chop it up. fluid. So how is this going along? Well, doesn't look too bad. So it started boiling and uh, I will put it to the side and let it stew for a while. Well, I start with the rest of the food. So, you stay there and we put you on top. Just try to conserve some of the heat. And let's flip up these holders and place the frying pan on top. And let's bring out some oil. Let's have the simmering ready. Ah, it's apart from the wind, it's not that bad weather. At least the sun is still shining. I think that's dry enough. So add some grease some oil. And in with the onions. And when it's time for some minced beef, oops, not the whole bag, just just what's inside it. And before I left, I made a kind of a mix of spices and herbs. So it's uh, salt, pepper, chili chipotle, uh, some thyme, basil, and uh, oregano. So let's add a generous pinch of that. Well. Yeah, the difference between indoor and outdoor cooking is basically that any rule you have of 
things going in the pot in a separate order and going for a certain time, uh, those rules kind of go out of the window when you're doing outdoor cooking because uh, you only have so much fuel and uh, so uh, it's, you just toss it in. And that's what I'm going to do now. Time for the tomatoes. Or tomatoes if that's more your forte. And to add a little extra flavor, I have some mixed with uh, peppers and uh, tomato sauces. Uh, Ivar as it's called, and pure tomatoes. I'm not sure what that is in English, but you know that taste that looks like thick ketchup without the sugar. I just might google it to the descriptions. The wind is giving me some pause, that's nice. I do think I will take the last spoonful I had in here. And splash the water and let it stew for a while. Well, we are getting there. I'm sorry I can't uh, give you smell o vision as it were, uh, because it really smells nice. Uh, I think this is going to get good. Let that reduce for a while. Uh, about the wind that died down. Uh, I think I spoke too soon. Might be. So let's prepare some coffee. And that will boil while I eat my dinner. And we're almost done. So and uh, to not waste the second half of the tomato, so uh, You should always have some kind of salad to your food. And there we go. And that's not much of a salad, you might say. Well, let's add some rocket salad. And some spruces of peas. Getting somewhere. So we lift this off and we add some extra heat to the quinoa and it looks about ready. Let's see if I can rinse this. The 
Kino is quite small. Uh, small enough to find their way out of the holes, but no, it looks okay today. Doesn't look half bad. I hope it tastes well as two. So, bon appetit. Well, I think I'm <laughs> right in time. Uh, if you look over there, let's see. There I see it. It's a <laughs> huge rain cloud coming in. Uh, so, I hope I have time for this. Well, uh, this, call it stew and quinoa, it's time to try it out and see if it tastes like I pictured it in my mind. Mm. Definitely good. I like it. Time for coffee. Well, uh, the rain hit me. Uh, in the middle of my meal. Uh, but it wasn't too bad, I think. Uh, the valley down there where I filmed before uh, got the brunt of it. So, uh, I'm pretty unscathed. But uh, I had to put my camera in the backpack for a while so but on the other hand it's not like funny looking at someone eating so you didn't miss much uh, uh, there's more uh, rain coming in that way so I uh, took the opportunity to pack away most things uh, the train and everything so I, it's basically just my coffee left outside the backpack and uh, the camera um, but now it's blue sky over the valley at least for a while yeah you could say that the weather comes in stripes I'll show you if you can yeah. and <coughs> somewhere Behind this stump, I saw a large grey cloud rolling in before, and there's some there. So, so I think uh, there will be more downpour in a while, but no matter. Like you say in Sweden, there's no bad weather, just bad clothing. So it's nice to come out uh, every now and then, uh, even if it's nothing fancy, but a quick lunch outside and like I said before the Ayatollah kitchen doesn't have the kind same finesse that you do when you're standing in your own kitchen because then you've got all the time in the world and uh, you've got all the power and every supply and and so on and here you have limited space uh, limited fuel uh, at least if you bring some kind of a mess kit or drag your kitchen uh, so, you have to do things more efficiently than with a lot of finesse. So, stew is good. All in one pot is almost even better. Uh, like that. Well, uh, I hope the weather stays nice uh, for a fortnight or um, I think it's a week. Um, because I'm actually planning a meetup uh, with, with another YouTuber, he, and he comes from overseas. So this will be real funny. Uh, and uh, we debated some if we are going to catch this on camera or not. And uh, 
Uh, we are in two minds, both of us. Uh, sometimes we feel that YouTube stands in the way of the experience and sometimes it motivates us. And so the jury is still out. Uh, we will have the meetup uh, and it may or may not end up on our respective channels. We'll see about that. Uh, but if it does get to that, then you will find out. Uh, and my autofocus is struggling. I guess it's uh, the rain that plays tricks on it. So, but if it happens, you will see it here. So, if you haven't pressed the subscribe button, now is a good time. And I'll see you the next time I publish something. I'm looking forward to that. I hope you do too. But until next time, take care. Cheers.